I'm Pete Zielinski with Additive Manufacturing Magazine. I'm here with Greg Hyatt, Senior Vice President and Chief Technical Officer with DMG Mori. Dr. Hyatt, you have been involved for a number of years now in hybrid manufacturing, hybrid systems combining additive manufacturing with CNC machining in a single platform. Make the case for the hybrid concept. Why is that idea valuable for deploying additive manufacturing? I think it's absolutely essential as we move from applying additive largely to uh, rapid prototyping to actual production of parts. Uh, because what's most exciting about additive is the new uh, designs that are enabled, uh, that it enables design engineers to take what were previously assemblies, uh, build those as a single piece, eliminating the joints, the flanges, uh, the leakage, the assembly time, yeah. but that means the machined features get trapped inside. So it's impossible to machine those features after the fact. The only way to give the design engineers that degree of freedom is to be able to machine them in process. Yeah. DMG Mori was among the first leading machine tool builders to introduce a hybrid machine. It's been out there for a little while now. What have you learned? Are there ways you've gotten a better sense of the possibilities for this machine and what it can do? Yes, we've expanded, I guess, our definition from hybrid from including only milling and turning to grinding and okay. ultrasonic machining, okay. uh, which extends the range of applications, uh, extends the range of uh, work that can be consolidated into a single operation. Uh, and that has been exciting. I wonder if you could talk about a recent test or experiment with the hybrid machine. Um, is there any new application that you're playing with or learning about right now? No, there are dozens. Yeah. Uh, so, but I think you're going to force me to talk about one. If you would. Um, so uh, I think I would choose titanium and the reactive metals. Uh, the traditional solutions that have addressed the unique challenges of reactive metals and additive machinery uh, don't apply to the hybrid, so we had to invent our own enabling technology. Uh, we've done that, we've commercialized titanium now, and in the future we'll be extending the reactive portfolio into uh, other alloys. Additive and machining are complementary processes. Recognizing that, what is the future that you see? Are there particular uh, sectors, industries, types of products that are particularly prone to be affected going forward by additive and machining working in tandem? Yes, I think in particular we'll see a lot of interest in, in the coming year or two in uh, heavier components from energy in general, uh, oil and gas, mining, also agriculture, uh, industrial equipment, the fields where uh, the components are large and they didn't fit in the original generation of additive equipment. So there's a, a large pent up demand uh, to be able to build these larger, more robust components uh, that is finally being enabled. Mm 